It was a rare chance to see two of the NFL's worst teams on the very same afternoon. The Colts and Bengals tangled and wrangled and tried to strangle one another, it seemed, in a matchup of two poor clubs with a grand total of four wins. The Lee Johnson affair was glossed over by the players, but it sure seemed more than once that the special teams was staging a work stoppage in protest. Aaron Bailey makes a sizable run back in the first period. From there, the Colts needed but three plays. First, the play action that turned around the defense. Marshall Falk takes the pass to the 21. Then, from the 16, Falk hits the right side of the line, is stopped momentarily, but then bursts through a slot. He took it all the way in for a Colts touchdown. Just as discouraging was the way the Bengals' offense started the game. Ellis Johnson knocks down Jeff Blake's pass here. You know, it was just kind of under siege. Colt showing blitz. Back to throw is Blake. Here comes the pressure up the middle. Steps up, he never got it, lays it again. Again, it's Ellis Johnson. <laughs> the first couple times he got sacked, he had nowhere to step up to to go. You know, I mean, they were coming around the corners, and then when he stepped up, the, 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 the middle of the, of the pile got him. As the Colts grabbed a quick field goal, Coslett walked over and had some less than flattering words for the offensive line, who was getting beaten and passed by the Colts. I think they got a little discouraged at the beginning, but, you know, I told them, you know, just, just hang in there, give me, give me a couple more seconds, and I'll get it going. Well, we made some adjustments. We started blocking somebody. You know, I mean, the, the, the first two, three series, I mean, we let the middle linebacker come right up the middle un, untouched. It's ridiculous. The Bengals actually dominated a large portion of the first quarter. This Blake pass to Darnay Scott produced a first down. And then, with Corey Dillon down with a bad bruise of the back, Brandon Bennett got the ball and almost broke it. He picks up 16 yards on this run, down to the Colts 33. This drive lasted eight minutes and 16 plays, but produced only three points, a 41-yard Doug Pelfrey field goal. Not bad if the defense could do something, but Peyton Manning was looking into soft coverage and hitting receivers in the middle of it. This pass to Falk took it to the four. I mean, we made it kind of easy on him. All he was throwing was slants, and, you know, we were missing tackles. Falk went high over the top to end this drive, and then the Colts had a 17-3 lead. The Bengals were coming back in multiples of three. Jeff Blake on the run in the second period finds Darnay Scott for a 20-yard gain. Blake again to Scott, covering 15 yards. The Bengals make it to the Colts' 13. But again, threes the best they could do. Doug Pelfrey finishes another lengthy drive with a 26-yard field goal. Dick LeBeau huddled the defense, but he couldn't play the defense. This was a key play of the drive late in the half. Manning throwing for Torrin Small, but Ashley Ambrose is whistled for pass interference at the 28. From there, Marshall Falk got ahead of steam and a decent-sized hole. He brought the ball all the way to the 11. From there, Manning tossed a touchdown pass to E.G. Green, who was well beyond Thomas Randolph. The Colts led at the half 24-6. Only Santa's little helpers were doing anything to help brighten our day at this point. The Bengals, though, did make a little noise in the second half. Jeff Blake was getting some more time to pass the football from his offensive line. I told the guys, you know, just, you know, just try to make them go outside. You know, if you go outside, I, make them go outside, I can step up and make something happen. And that's what, they, that's, that's what they started doing the second half. With the rush blocked to the outside, Blake used his speed up the middle. Twice in the drive, he took off, gaining a total of 24 yards. From the 20, Corey Dillon had his best run of the day. He hit a stack of players, reversed to the left, and took the ball down to the Colts' six-yard line. One play later, Blake threw to Pickens, who brushed aside Jeff Burris and scored the Bengals' first touchdown of the day, 24-12. But the Colts responded right away to erase any comeback hopes. Manning floated a pass to Jerome Pathon to the Bengals' 31. Then on a third and eight, Manning broke the rookie touchdown record by lobbing a scoring pass to Torrin Small in the corner of the end zone. Peyton owns all the rookie records now. And the Colts have the lead 30 to 12. When they throw in the end zone, our corners either have to tackle them or, or, uh, or make a play. Here was one of the few noteworthy plays of the game as far as the Bengals were concerned. Newly signed punter Brad Costello boomed a punt that bounced into the end zone. The 73-yard boot set a new Bengals team record. It's a great way to start, great way to end the day. Um, it's always tough to go out and punt one after that one. 
Early in the fourth period, the Colts scored again. Manning to Small. Nobody could make a tackle. That's another six. And then to add insult to injury, the Colts went for and made a two-point conversion. Odd call considering they were up by 25 points. The Bengals offense did add a little more to this highlights medley. Jeff Blake showed the ability to still throw the bomb. Willie Jackson caught this one at the five-yard line. Brandon Bennett then finished the drive with a touchdown. He had 87 yards rushing today. And quarterback Eric Kresser got his first taste of pro action, and he didn't waste it. He stepped up and threw a late touchdown to Stefford Williams, but it's another too little, too late Sunday for the Bengals. They lose for the ninth straight time, the 11th time this season. This time they got beat soundly by another poor team. You know, right now, it's kind of numb, you know, to, to, to be in the situation that we're in uh, as far as losing or whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm more anxious to win a game than I am for the season to get over. That's definitely uh, true with me. I mean, it's hard, man. It's hard. You can't explain it. Uh, a lot of people can say, I can imagine how they feel. You can't unless you've been through what we're going through.